Staff no fees, isn't it? of the American flag. But the Abbey isn't just a glorious historical monument, it's a Christian community which is very much aware of today's problems. This morning service is what you might call a prelude to a mission which will run from Advent to Pentecost, let all the world.
primarily a message of freedom and new beginnings, packs a real punch. That is what a group of worshippers discovered when they listened to Jesus reading from the prophet Isaiah. As Michael Weir and Winnie Darcy from the United Reformed Church read this Bible story from St Luke's Gospel to us. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners. September after the long holiday. We pray for those going to school for the first time and for those entering new schools. We pray for all the people who help us in schools. Teachers, dinner ladies, the secretaries, caretaker and all the other people who make our school days happy. Now let us gather all our prayers together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is 